Hey guys, Lady Hell Quinn here with some more EC4 deathmatch. And today we're playing on La Havana as the lovely orchid. And um, really quick, I do apologize for the past couple of days for the lack of uploads, but um, I have a good excuse. <laughs> My mom and I and some of her friends and coworkers, uh, they're awesome by the way. Um, we did the breast cancer awareness walk um, in Central Park a few days ago. What was it like two days ago now? And um, it was a lot of fun, it was a lot of people, it was really, um, I have to get my mom to send me some of the pictures or whatever that we took and stuff, and I'll put it on Twitter or whatever, because it was, it was really a lot of fun. Um, it was just nice to walk for something, you know, larger than us, you know what I mean? Um, we did do the St. Jude's uh, Children's, you know, the Ends to Childhood Cancer Walk as well, um, like a few weeks ago. So it was really nice to walk with this kind of thing. Um, my great grandmother passed away from breast cancer, so it was nice to kind of walk in helping people. It was like it was happy and sad at the same time because as you're walking, there are like people on the side, and they had these big signs, and they're like, "Thank you for walking because, like, you know, you'll help keep my mom or my loved one, you know, motivated and all that stuff that they have breast cancer." You had people that had pictures of their loved ones who had uh, cancer and it was just nice to to do something like that but anyway I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry I'm not doing it <laughs> okay anyway <laughs> so it wasn't too long it was just um, a five mile walk no big deal um, we walked all around Central Park it was fun for my mom because <laughs> she's never been to Central Park before like we've lived in New York um, our entire lives, well, most of our lives, and she's never been there. I've been there a couple of times on, like, um, field trips and stuff from school, um, but she's never been, so it was exciting for her. Um, and we actually said that we're going to go again, and we'll go to the Central Park Zoo and all that stuff. It'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so the past couple of days I haven't been here, I was doing that, and then my legs were fucking killing me, because even though I said that it wasn't really long, it was just five miles, there's a lot of, like, inclines and shit <laughs> that I'm not used to, so my legs were on fire, dude. I'm telling you. Like, it wasn't bad when you were doing it, but as soon as you stopped and we were on that train on the way back home, oh, my God. <laughs> like, I could barely move, especially when I went to sleep that night. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. Um, so this match, it's okay. It's not, like... And I'm talking in terms of like the other players and stuff. I think they're a little bit too aggressive for my taste. They're just like... And again, this all goes back to the whole thing, which I've always said, where level means absolutely jack shit. It doesn't mean anything. Because I went into this assuming that, okay, everybody's going to be pretty decent. You know, everybody's prestige with the exception of like one or two people. So I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be a decent game. Not really. <laughs> like, I don't even get it. I don't understand what, what's wrong. Because actually, I have been trying to play um, Assassin's Creed for a little bit, but um, like I wasn't getting any lobbies. Like, either I wouldn't get Deathmatch altogether, or I wouldn't get good players. Like, they'd be lots of noobs and stuff, and I didn't want to play another noob lobby. So, I stuck with this one, but there's still a lot of rabid people. I, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I have no idea. No freaking clue. I fucking killed the bodyguard. Dickhead's using bodyguard. I can't. And then this dude on the roof. <sighs> I was so ready to rage quit. <laughs> I was so ready. So I just stuck with the the uh, the decoy. Because I was going to go for my stars and birdie set. Which is uh, disguise, crackers, and knives and stuff. Um, 
but these guys are too rabid for that. Like, by the time I drop the crackers, they'll already be on top of me, so. <laughs> I was trying to get my pursuer to kill my decoy so I could get a grab kill on the mercenary up there. But to no avail. That didn't work. <laughs> but at least I get a decent kill and then I run away because I hear whispers and these guys are fucking rabid as shit. I can't. <laughs> like, I don't understand that. Like, even with new players... Like, I don't know how people can run around a lot when this is supposed to be, like, a stealthy game. So, if it was my first time playing, I wouldn't be running at all. Like, I would be too nervous to run. Like, oh my god, someone's going to kill me. If I run, I'm going to be obvious. Hello. <laughs> but no fucks given here, I guess. They're like, fuck that. I need to get my kill. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. So, how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. I've got a nice hot cup of coffee here. I mean, I like tea better, but... <sighs> Sometimes you cannot resist coffee. My dad made some. So good. So good. So here I was like, fuck it. You know what? We're switching to smoke. And I like, I rarely use smoke. Like 99% of the time <laughs> I don't use smoke. Like usually I just don't because I don't see a need for it or my, the other players aren't rabid enough or I don't, I just find that I don't need it as much as other players. Um, not to say that in like a condescending way, like I'm not saying it like, oh, if you use smoke, you're, you're bad. No, that's not it. <laughs> I'm just saying that I personally don't use it too much. But I'm glad I used it there. I was trying to taunt him, but the game wouldn't let me. <laughs> and then I heard whisper, so I was like, fuck that, let's get out of here. And then this rabid dude, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. What is the point in that? What is the point? And then I'm like, dude, you're freaking... Ugh, I can't. <laughs> I really can't. I mean, I was like, you know what, I'm winning, I'll stay. You know, I don't want to leave now. But I never understood that, like, at all. The only time I really get rushing, and this pissed me off too, this fucking siren. God damn it. <laughs> I was so mad. I was so mad. I can't. Um, but like I was saying, I never understand the whole rushing like that. Like, when you rush, there's usually maybe like three times where it's useful to do so. A, you're already in first, and you're just trying to pressure the people in second and third. So, like, if you get the person who's in second, you just want to rush kill them. Uh, it doesn't matter how many points you kill them for, just kill them so that they have to respawn, and then you get a better kill on your target. And I get a nice bench kill here. I was trying to get up off the, the fucking seat. <laughs> it wouldn't let me for a minute. Um, anyway... So yeah, you're only supposed to do that like when you're already in first and you're pressuring the people in first, uh, in second and third. Um, when your pursuer is very close by and you just need to get your kill so you kind of get whatever kill you can and then you die and then whatever. Um, or your target has multiple pursuers and you rush kill them to get the poacher bonuses and stuff. Not just to do it for the sake of doing it. If you're in like fourth place, there's no reason for you to go and rush kill someone because you're not getting any points that way. You're not helping yourself at all. So, I never understood that. I don't get it. And I can't freaking find this navigator. I see him at the last second. And then because Ubisoft loves me so much, they give me the fucking siren as my fucking pursuer again. And this bitch... I can't... I can't win. I can't win. <laughs> sometimes Ubisoft loves me, and then sometimes they treat me like a horrible ex-girlfriend. <laughs> they just do some really mean shit to me. Come on, Yubi, what have I done to you? What have I done? <laughs> I can't. So I was trying to get, like, a grab kill on her because I thought she was going to stay still. But to no avail, she's just rabid as well. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. And then I get darted. And I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to taunt until I die. Because <laughs> I'm already winning. I don't get the point of the dart. But okay. Alrighty then. <laughs> so actually, after this, um, I'm going to do a couple things. I am going to do um, part, what is it? Fuck, I don't even remember what part we're on now for The Evil Within. I think it's 18? 18 or 19, one of those. <laughs> so I'm going to do one of those because um, I'm looking forward to finding out what else is going on with that game. And then I'm going to play some AC Revelations. Like, I haven't played that game in a long time. I want to see if anyone's still playing it. I know there are people still playing Brotherhood, but I'm not sure about Revelations, so we're going to go and try that. Um, 
And I want to get uh, a capture device soon so I can record those for you guys because that'll be fun, I think. That'll be cool. The game's almost over, though. That sucks. But yeah, this fucking lobby, I can't. <laughs> I can't with this. Like, I need to find a bunch of good players to play with. Like, that'd be really fun. Like, if you guys want to play, you know, let me know whether on PlayStation or Twitter or whatever. Because I'm tired of playing at randoms, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, if the randoms are, like, really good or whatever. Like, that would be fun. But when they're all on the roof like this and they're just fucking rabid as shit, I can't. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much the end of the game. I'm just going to taunt a little bit. You peasants are not worthy of me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, guys, so that's the end of the match. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give a like and let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!